The last video we discussed how the body has its own repair cells, one of them being circulating endothelial progenitor cells. And we showed you data that the higher number of these repair cells that are in circulation, the lower is the risk for cardiovascular disease. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the earliest manifestations of cardiovascular disease, which is erectile dysfunction. Now, why this occurs is because in order to achieve an erection, the endothelium must be responding to the nitric oxide, which this is basically the biological pathway by which agents such as Viagra or Cialis work, is by increasing the activity of the nitric oxide. Now, the nitric oxide works on the endothelium, and the endothelium has to dilate in order to cause an erection. If the endothelium is not properly functioning, then it doesn't matter how much nitric oxide you have because it's not going to be properly responding. So, in this video, um, we're discussing, we're showing data about a study in which 30 patients uh, with varying degrees of erectile dysfunction were assessed for levels of these stem cells. So, and you can see in the first figure, um, there is a correlation on the x-axis is erectile function as quantified by the International Index of Erectile Function. And this is a quantitative method of measuring uh, function. And um, on the y-axis is the number of circulating endothelial progenitor cells as measured by expression of CD34 and KDM. And as you can see, there is a positive correlation. Now, the next uh, figure in the paper asked whether endothelial function itself is correlated with erectile function. And in this one, the flow-mediated dilation assay was used. And as you can see, on the y-axis is the endothelial function, and on the x-axis is the erectile function. And again, there is a positive correlation. Now, when you analyze the data, again, and you look at the degrees of, of uh, the severity of erectile dysfunction, you can see in this figure that the patients having the highest degree of erectile dysfunction actually had the lowest number of circulating endothelial progenitor cells. So, what this essentially means is it's providing some clue that there is an association between the number of circulating endothelial progenitor cells and erectile function, which makes sense in light of our previous video where we were talking about that the higher number of circulating endothelial cells you have, the lower number, the lower your possibility of cardiovascular diseases occurring. So what can one do? Well, we know there's very high concentrations of, of endothelial progenitor cells in the bone marrow. So, and we also know from other videos that administration of bone marrow cells can increase endothelial function and can be very useful in conditions where there is atherosclerosis, such as in critical ischemia, or such as in heart failure, post-infarct heart failure. The other interesting thing to modulate the levels of endothelial cells is the possibility of using nutraceuticals. Um, we recently published a paper, this is a reference for it, demonstrating that administration, ingestion of the compound of the food supplement stemkine actually increases the number of circulating endothelial progenitor cells. Thank you very much.